Good morning everyone welcome back to Revere Urban Homestead it is Sunday December 5th and I'm out here in the garden this morning guys my brother and his family just left this morning for the last two weeks they've been here playing a lot of kids a lot of activity but I noticed in some of my areas in the garden that there is bare spots so I'm gonna reseed those spots with whatever it is so let me show you right here you see the bunching of onions right here coming up but nothing is right here so I'm gonna make some more rows and we are gonna plant more bunching onions that way we have more growing there so I just got to find the seeds in the seed packet or in the seed box and we'll get to it so it has been a couple weeks since we looked at this uh, bed so check it out look the kales are growing really good this is the Russian red kale dinosaur kale are starting to really come in nice the carrots really did good as far as filling in there is a little spot right there maybe we'll throw some seeds look at the dacon radishes they're getting big guys up top anyway hopefully down below as well and again the onions we just reseeded that section cucumbers are growing nicely put a little trellis up for them for later when they start vining out bok choy is looking good and purple bok choy. I love the way purple bok choy looks. It's such a pretty plant. Got two rows of that. Some of the icicle radishes are growing well. The French breakfast on that side did not grow any, so I might have to uh, reseed that. The mixed lettuce bed, looking good. And then this was, I think, the Tom Thumb. All right, so yeah, this butterhead lettuce, again, this area is vacant right here, so we might as well just run a strip and seed it in. Voila. I do like how the lines are looking, and what I've been doing is just coming in here and just picking all the weeds and just leaving them right there where I pick them. We're just going to let them compost in just by themselves naturally. This section over here has nothing growing in it, so I'm going to clean it all out. And then I found um, the red sails. I don't see any of that growing anywhere here, so we're going to plant this spot with red sails. So let me clean it out first. Okay, and just like that, the micro plot is cleaned out. One thing I do want to mention, guys, is I'm really having a good time with these little micro plots, is what I'm calling them. They're one foot by two foot. And it's just cool because you can just individualize your whole layout. You know, when the bok choy is done over there, I can harvest it. I could either replant bok choy or I could add a little compost to it and plant something else. I just really enjoy having all these little sections. They're like little micro farms. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I'm digging the layout like this. I'm going to probably leave it like this more often than not because I just like the way it's looking. Anyway. Back to my micro plot over here. We are going to put red sails in here. So let's make some lines real quick. Right down the row there. Doesn't have to be deep. It's just lettuce seeds. Another line right here. Boom. Now we got our two little lines. Let me get some seed in there and we'll water it in. Yeah, it's looking good though. The raised bed is looking nice. I'm getting distracted. Ooh, look. Look at this. Let's pick our first radish. Yeah. First radish. This is the white icicle. Pretty little radish. Mm-hmm. Naturally cool because the soil is cool. That is yummy. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's really not that spicy at all. It's kind of a almost sweet. I like it. Alright, and then with these leaves, literally guys, I can feed it to the rabbits and stuff, but for now, I'm just gonna throw them back in. Actually, I'll throw them back in over by the radishes. Just let them compost in. Alright, so anyway, 
I got distracted again. Let's get back to seeding this plot. Actually, you know what I just thought of? This is a mixture of different lettuces. That's right. I just used a Red Sales um, package to put them in, but these are actually mixed lettuces, which is fine. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear the sports going on over there in the park across the street, but the parents are getting rowdy. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Okay, so in this micro plot, we replanted more bunching onions to where it's beans is half empty. We just planted more lettuce here. I added some seeds over here for this. Um, next thing I want to do, let's move over to here. There's a lot of kale in here, so we need to thin this out a little bit better. But I'm going to thin it by cutting the tops and leaving the roots in the ground. I don't want to pull them out because then you can hurt the plant next to it. So let me go grab my scissors and we'll just top them. And this stuff we can feed to the rabbit or the chickens or you can make your own little salad with it. Okay, so what I want to have in here is about four nice healthy plants, maybe five. So for now, like all this stuff on the outer edges, we're definitely getting rid of that. So we're just going to start cutting that down. All these little ones. And we want to save some nice healthy ones. Like this is a pretty good sized one here. This one's kind of small. And get rid of that. I overseeded this way too much. So I just want to come in and kind of air it out a little. They don't like to stand up on their own very good these, so we might want to keep them a little bit thicker. I'll just go in and get some of the smaller stuff out of here. Okay, so I did thin out quite a bit of that. Um, it is kind of a sprawling plant. It's not standing up all strong, like when I think of the dinosaur kale over here. That stands up really good. And we're going to thin out a couple of those actually right now in that mini plot. And I also weeded it. So let me get that done real quick. And while you're in here, you pull out all the weeds, of course. Again, I just drop them where they're at. Yep, so this is all the kale that we harvested just now. Let's go give this to the chickens. Hey, girls. Got you some garden harvest. And got you some garden harvest. Hello, babies. Go eat your kale. There we go. Okay, so the plot with the bunching onions, I'm just going to mist that down. Get the top of that soil moist. The soil underneath is moist for the roots of the plants. But for the seeds, you got to keep the top moist. So, we'll just give it a nice watering. Okay, now that plot is done. Bunching onions are in. And again, we're gonna do the same thing over here where we seeded the lettuces. Okay guys, so that's it. We've maintained a couple of the plots. We've reseeded a couple of them. We thinned out a little bit over there. We've weeded a couple of them that really needed it. Yup. I like the little sections. It just helps me prioritize it and it keeps it nice and simple. Looking good. Let's go down to the other raised bed. I want to show you what's going on down there. So as you guys know, this bed, I just started filling it and all that stuff and it wasn't even really ready to plant, but I figured what the heck I'm going to plant anyway. So I planted broccoli and cabbages. Now we are getting a lot of stuff growing in here that we didn't plant. But I'm just letting it roll because, hey, I wasn't even going to plant anything in this bed right now. So yeah, this bed is kind of like a rogue bed. It has some of the cabbage and broccolis growing, but also look at all these tomato plants. One tomato plant here. One right there. A couple right here. One over there. One over there. Two over there next to that broccoli plant. Another one there. There's all kinds of tomato plants growing in here. But you know what, I'm going to just let it roll and see what happens. 
Speaking of tomato plants, this one is doing really good still. We got a ton of little tomatoes starting to grow on it everywhere. Just a bunch of little ones all over the place. Potatoes, eh, they're not doing that great, but they're living. This tomato plant is looking fabulous. Nice bundles here. A bunch of potatoes down there. Or <laughs> potatoes. I was just looking at the potato plant. <laughs> a bunch of tomatoes. Look at these. Looking beautiful. Over here, too, we got some in there hidden. We got some more up here growing. And over here, we have this one blowing up as well. Just a bunch of tomatoes up in there. So once these start ripening up, man, we are going to have quite a tomato collection. And now a bunch of tomato plants in there along with the broccolis. So that's funny. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I got the lights up. My brother and his family, like I said, left this morning. All the kids, man, it was a blast. We had fun. So they're just leaving their camper right here on the side of my house. Because guess what? They'll be back in two weeks for Christmas. So it's just sitting right here, hugged up against my papaya tree. Check out the papayas, by the way. Not that I really eat papaya much. It's just a cool looking tree. Speaking of, there's another papaya tree right there. <laughs> Starting to grow. Check out the papaya tree. Look at the size of these things. Massive papayas. Ooh, it's so cool back here. All the way up. Travel Star Adventure Awaits. Oh yes, they have been traveling a lot in this thing, man. It's pretty cool. These pop down and they've beds in there. So it's like a it's like a pop-up hybrid. A hard shell. That whole thing pops down and there's a big bed in there. My blue tube is finally gone. That blue tube that has been sitting there this whole time was to pour like concrete in to fill in the old drain pipes. So they did that the other day. They ripped my manhole out of the backyard, but where the chickens are, there was that manhole. That's not there anymore. So I think they're about done. Next week, we're supposed to get our new road. So Tuesday and Wednesday, they're supposed to put down the final road for us. That's going to be awesome. Green bean plants and trellis are looking pretty rough, but I tell you what, I was still collecting green beans the other day. So we have gotten a lot of green beans and a lot of meals out of this little quick trellis <laughs> with the uh, pallet for the bed. It's pretty cool. I'm going to reinforce, I want to make a better trellis for it and start using it for other things because that's awesome. So yeah, the garden's looking good, guys. In December, December 5th over here in Florida, South Florida, Zone 9, 10, it's looking good. Everything's coming along nicely. Got a big old tree. We're going to let it rest for a couple days. Get to decorating it. Got Santa protecting it until then. Man, I tell you what, it is so beautiful out here right now. It's like 75 sunny I might have to bring the laptop out here after I'm done editing this and watch football out here relax and nice peace and quiet it's been fun for the last couple of weeks man but I tell you what it's a little exhausting having two four-year-olds over here the twins and then the six-year-old then my eight-year-old it it's been fun but hectic so anyway it's gonna be a peaceful day today it's Sunday get ready for work tomorrow anyway but I'm going to watch some football, hang out, and relax. But yeah, working those mini plots is really fun. I like the little individual. It's like little farms, so I really enjoy that method. I think I'm going to stick with that for a while. Everything's looking good in the garden. It's growing. No problems, no issues. So it's a fun little idea to do. And even if you have kids, they can have multiple plots, and they can plant whatever they want in those plots if you want. Just any kind of idea like that would be fun. So you guys have a good week. I will see you probably next weekend because I won't have no one here, no distractions, because we've had a wedding two Saturdays ago. We had a wedding party last night, last this Saturday. Oh, and actually next Saturday I do have a Christmas party to go to at night, but we'll be able to get a video in, so we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.